Hello, Polygoners! Welcome to another random daily cast. We've got an awesome ZVZ for you today. We're going to be looking at really how Ling Bane Ling Wars set up, what the positioning looks like for them, what decisions are imperative to make, and really what the difference between a fast hatch and this really fast pull here is. So, here on the top left hand side of Odyssey Ladder Edition, in the blue Zerg trunks, he is a player whose name I'm actually do not know because he is a barcode i could not find any information on so he's barcode and as you can see he went for a pull into a gas into a hatch build we're going to revisit that in just a moment his opponent in the bottom right hand side in the red zerg trunks playing for mexico starcraft he's my good friend james duran jim rising and what's really cool about Jim Rising is he's known as being one of the more aggressive players, kind of really cheesy, kind of really cheeky. So it makes sense that his opponent would go for this pull first. And as you can see, the worker count's very similar. Pull's just going to be finishing up quite a bit sooner. Uh, as you can see, for the blue player, he also gets his metabolic boost just a hair's breadth sooner as well. Queen's, of course, going to be quicker, so your production revs up a little bit later at the cost of a little bit of uh, economy. But really, these builds are, eh, near mirror perfect. So with that said, there's a couple of uh, times where these builds will not be mirror perfect. Once you've got the two base production, so here in the next 30 to 45 seconds or so, you have nice cancel you have the queens going to be finishing up so two queens hitting two injects worth of hatcheries as you can see that's a little bit delayed here for his opponent so again we're talking just you know 10 15 seconds at all uh if that so basically at this point jim rising is going to elect to take a third base why it allows him to spend a little bit of money but more importantly it's going to get his production to that next stage it's only about three minutes in the game some players might would think this a little bit too early but as you can see he does have the mainly nest his opponent of course getting it a little bit earlier that's going to be the trend here is that his opponent just gets things a little bit earlier and it kind of hurts his economy um, going into the mid stages, but early on there's not that much difference now as you can see his opponent is going ahead and getting the Zerg missile attack upgrades But he does not have a roach warren on the field just yet So we can see where he wants to take this but Jim rising being very smart going ahead and sending out some of these scouterlings wants to know if that third base has been taken It has not he's got a little bit of a read on his opponent going to be poking in poking out gonna get these two lings into the main and morph those into some banelings here in just a moment yeah that's a very standard zerg tactic um of course barcode knows that shuts those down and this is the beginning of jim rising's attack now notice that this overlord of course did spot that but with the little rise in production jim rising got from the injects from the two queens from the uh two hatches a little bit quicker He's actually going to have a few more units, and he's got the ability to make these into Bane Links. Now check out this line of sight blocker, really cool move. If you're on this side of the line of sight blocker, your opponent cannot see, you can hide that Bane Link. Really awesome stuff, really great tactics there by Jim Rising. Now Jim Rising being very careful, keep these Lings split up. Like you saw, like there were two groups of Lings, and they just kind of let the Bane Link sandwich in between them. That was really awesome micro, he's get these Lings paired directly to that hatchery and rather than trying to pull these lings away from that bane link he just split a few of them up and again using just natural uh like splitting in terms of like when you're attacking something your lings automatically split themselves so they can get better surface area and just using big groups of units uh, so I, I like the way his tactics uh have been going here so far and this is a great pickup on this queen so again hitting barcode at the production that is the one advantage jim rising has had all game and by getting this third base a little bit quicker he is going to continue having better production than his opponent of course shutting his opponent's links down he knows with these five links he's not gonna be able to kill his opponent so he's just gonna poke back out here to this third and bruise that a little bit while these reinforcements come in here but his opponent barcode 
already in this third base. Notice that this third base does not have any drone saturation. This is strictly a production hatchery at the moment. And choosing not to go ahead and mine from this extractor as well, probably because he has had so much success with the lings. This could have gone um, like into being mined a little bit earlier. And will probably very shortly as we do see the roaches getting integrated into this army. Jim Rising adding the plus one missile attack. But his opponent already has roaches on the field. Plus one missile attack has already completed. So if his opponent is going to do any damage whatsoever, it is going to have to be now. However, Jim Rising working his way up to a 12 army supply lead. He has also had an economic advantage this entire game. At this point... If Jim Rising can hold this, his economy is going to be able to snowball. And as this attack happens, we see a nice little sandwich hug by Jim Rising on uh, Barcode's roaches. There's also a counterattack over here, killing off these drones and going to shut this third base down again, hitting him in the production, which is his weak point. Now, these roaches are going to be a little bit slow getting over here. It looks like he may, no, he may not actually. Uh, be able to repel the links from this hatch and while this is happening roaches of jim rising's own are moving across the field into a very threatening position we've got plus two ranged attacks on the way for barcode however glial reconstitution about to complete for both of these players slightly quicker by jim rising so so far we've had a slightly earlier army potential and faster tech from the barcode. Jim Rising, on the other hand, has had a much better economy. And as we're rolling into this mid game, which we by now certainly are, that economy is going to allow him to take an advantage in terms of the overall army. So, where his opponent was enjoying two out of three of the major categories that is army, technology, and economy. Jim Rising is now beginning to seize that for himself. We'll see if Barcode can make something happen here, but as you see, Jim Rising still about, well, now 21 army supply ahead of his opponent, as well as 10 drones. So really the only thing that Barcode has going for him is this soon to finish plus two timing and you could almost call this an all in at this point. Jim Rising doing a great job defending this and oh yes see these roach hugs when you have far more roaches than your opponent rather than just letting the concave um kind of set itself up as you see a lot of players doing going in and just going for the hug in between attacks and you want to get the timing on that just perfect but basically when your concave stacks itself up it cuts some of your back roaches out of the battle by moving forward with this kind of roach hug technique you can increase the amount of roaches you have firing at any given point and that will always work to your and in this case jim rising's advantage thank you so much guys for watching thank you jim for uploading this replay if you like this content and want to consider supporting us please visit our patreon where you can donate even just one dollar per month to our overhead fees where it comes to running events tournaments leagues running this educational content and doing daily casts for you guys here on the youtube channel if you want to support that please again visit us on patreon the link is in the description or patreon.com slash polygon se2 and if this is your first time on the channel please make sure you smash that subscribe button as always guys chatelet my dudes if you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.